Okay, hello people. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about parameterized constructors and the use of this keyword. THIS this is a predefined keyword in Java, and we're going to see the use of it. And we're going to accomplish it by making a program that would give the volume of a cuboid. And to do so, I've declared three instance variables that is double height, double length, and double width. Now I'm going to define a constructor that's going to initialize height, length, and width to something as soon as the object of this class is created in main. So public second class and it's going to take three parameters as it has to initialize three instance variables. So double height double length and double width. Now let's initialize these parameters in this construction. So while initializing these parameters in the constructor what we need to use now you see that the name of instance variables and the name of the parameters that the constructor takes are same. Now this might confuse the compiler, uh, the Java compiler, if I write height equals height, the compiler wouldn't know that which height I'm taking on the right hand side and which height I'm taking on the left hand side. So it wouldn't know whether which value of height to put into which height. So to resolve this, what we do, we use a keyword this dot height and what this does is see you can see as soon as I put this dot height these two heights are highlighted that means this height is same as this height this tells the compiler that you are putting the value of height which you have collected as parameter into the height which is an instance variable defined in this class so this is how we initialize something in constructors if the name of the parameter is same as the name of the instance variable. So this length equals length oops and this dot width equals width. Okay, so this initializes every param every instance variable height length and width as soon as the object of this class would be created now let's create the object of this class in our main class so create an object second underscore class object equals new second underscore class and since I have to initial I want to initialize three variables here as soon as the object is created I have to pass three arguments so let's say height would be phi length would be six and breadth would be three so as soon as I do this it gets passed and the height gets initialized by five length gets initialized by 3 and width gets initialized sorry length gets initialized by 6 and width gets initialized by 3 now we have our instance variables variables initialized so let's just now make a method that would calculate the volume that would be public void <coughs> volume it's not going to take any parameters since it's since it doesn't need any and now it's going to calculate the volume although it's going to take one extra variable and that variable would be just defined within this para and within this method and the variable that is defined within the method only is local variable and it is local to that method so if I define double answer equals to height 
into length into sorry into width so this method this variable answer ans is just local to volume as soon as the volume goes out of scope this variable vanishes so we have to print the answer right here system dot out dot print ln the volume of the box is then we'd have to print answer okay so now we'd have to call this method using the object so let's call this method using the object obj dot volume so as soon as I call this method my uh, instance variables have already been initialized this function this method gets executed and it calculates the volume so let's just run it and see the volume of my box is 90 since height is 5 length is 6 and width is 3 so 5 into 6 is 30 30 into 3 is 90 so this is how it works and this is how parameterized constructor works and this is how this keyword works the main thing the main motto of me to show you guys was to show how this keyword works this keyword so this is how it works I hope it's clear to you guys if you still have any questions you can always ask me in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial till then bye bye